So let's get started. We are going to be covering how variation listings work in both Amazon and eBay. The agenda for today is as follows. First, we are going to talk about what variation listings are, so you can understand how they are used. We will then discuss how variation listings work on eBay and how they work differently on Amazon. As we go through variations on eBay and Amazon, we will also talk about what sorts of settings you need to have in place in order to make variations list correctly. Then we will show you how to create variation listings both by single item and in using bulk listings. So first and foremost, what is a variation? A variation is a list of connected products that have things in common, but vary in small ways. For example, you might be selling men's shirts. This is the example we are going to be working through today. As you understand, those, let's say, t-shirts come in different sizes. They may come in different colors. They may also come in different styles. You might have a v-neck and a crew neck. Or you might have a long sleeve shirt and a short sleeve shirt. So since they are basically the same item and the buyer is going to be searching for one but not all of those characteristics at once, by grouping them together it makes it much more likely for the buyer to find what they want. The basic setup of a variation listing is as follows. You have a parent product and you then associate that parent or umbrella product with child products that differ by one or more variables. For example, you may have a parent or umbrella t-shirt that is connected to the blue and red children, as well as the small, medium, and large children. You can see that this creates a branch system for child listings. So here we have first branched out by color, and then we are separating them out further, in this case, by size. While thinking about what variation listings are, it is also important to think about how they are identified. All products have two identifiers in Sheridan, a stock keeping unit, or SKU, and a global unique identifier, otherwise known as the GUID. As you can see from the chart, all the items grouped together in a variable listing share an SKU, in this case, 101 but they have different GUIDs. You can quickly identify the parent listing as the only item in a group for which the GUID and the SKU are identical.